good morning and happy Sabbath. It is Saturday and it is August and the, let's see, we have the first, second, the third, hmm, August the third. And we will be reading Joshua chapter 13. And we will be looking at more of the lands and kings that Joshua and the people of Israel conquered. And yesterday we read through about 31 of those already. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of lands and kings. That is to tell you how vast the land of Canaan was. That promised land was huge because there were surrounding nations too that they had to deal with who had made friends with the people in those lands, in the promised lands, and they were not going to allow the children of Israel to take over the lands without giving them a fight. But God was fighting with them. God was on their side and they were winning the battles and eliminating the enemies. So let's see what chapter 13 says. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshuri, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron, northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashdothites, and the Eshkalonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south on the land of the Canaanites and Mira, that is beside the Sidonians unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, to what the sun rising from Baalgad under the Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. Wow. For all that was already conquered, there's still a lot more for them to be, um, to have to conquer. Wow. Verse 6, all the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Misrephath, Mem, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. So as they fight and they get the land, they are supposed to apportion the land to different tribes. Verse 7. Now, uh, now therefore, divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. From Aroa, that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Gisharites, and the Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salca, and all the king of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth, and in Edrai, who remained of the remnant of the giants, for these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Marcathites, but the Geshurites and the Marcathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Hmm, not sure why. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroa, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba, Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon and Bamath Baal and Beth Baal Meon. <laughs> Some of these names are difficult to pronounce. And Jahazar and Kedemoth and Mephath and Kujad there, and Sibna and Zareth Shahar in the mount of the valley, and Beth Peor and Ashdath Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zer, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon dwelling in the country. 
Balaam also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. Remember Balaam we read about when he um, was hired by Balak, the king, to um, curse the children of Israel because he heard um, Balaam had, Balak had heard how mighty the children of Israel were. So he went to Balaam, which I always wondered, was he a prophet of God or not? But he had to consult God first before he could try to do any cursings. And he still couldn't curse the children of Israel because God had blessed them. So he was one of them that they had to kill when they conquered um, that country. Verse 23. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer and all the cities of Gilead and half the land of the children of Ammon unto Aroah, that is before Rabbah. And from Heshbon unto Rameth Piz Mispeh and Betonim, and from Mahanaim, Mahanaim unto the border of Deber, and in the valley Betharam, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the Sea of Chinnereth, on the other side, Jordan, eastward. So these are all the lands that were conquered and the children of Reuben, Gad, and half tribe of Manasseh were able to occupy these lands because they told Moses these lands are really nice for our cattle. And of course, that's their means of living. So Moses agreed to give it to them. Um, verse 27. Uh, 28. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the half tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, three score cities and half Gilead and Ashtaroth and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side, Jordan, by Jericho, eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance, the Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. That is a lot of land. I mean, I don't know the physical makeup of these lands, but that's a lot of land. 60 cities were just for the half tribe of Manasseh. Wow, that's a lot of land. We, You know what? I don't even know where to find half of these places or if we can really pinpoint half of these places. But I think we kind of isolate the the land of the promised land. Yeah, we look at a little chunk of land in the middle of nowhere. That's not it. I don't think that was it. This was widespread. The children of Israel were, <laughs> were massive. They were huge. It was a, a huge lot of people for that time. Okay. And the lands were widespread. The lands were widespread. So I don't think we have an idea as to where these lands really stretch to or what these or where these lands really were located. I don't think we really know. Because we just pinpoint some little places in a little isolated area of the world and we say that's where, you know, the children of Israel abode. Maybe one tribe, maybe, but not the 12 not the 12 okay that's the end of chapter 13 and uh that's the end of our reading for today so remember once again until our next reading faith comes by the hearing of god's word so let's listen take care bye